guys, it's Daisy here. I'm coming to you live from my living room. Oh, look at that. We have a letter. Dave from Keensburg writes, Daisy, how do you find the time to make delicious holiday meals from your family for your family when you're so busy uh, being awesome, doing wrestling events, working your job, being a mom, and being a wife? Well, Dave, I'm going to share with you one of my most favorite special holiday recipes, the salted holiday ham. First, what you want to do is go to your store, go to your local store, and find just like the biggest ham you can find. Like the, we want to use the butt portion, the largest butt portion ham you can find. And you want to kind of set it to the side till it's kind of like, just like really annoying and Maybe a little stinky, maybe a little salty. And before you prepare your ham, very important step. Don't forget this step. What you want to do is just, there, there might be something like a bookmark in your ham. You want to just remove that bookmark and just kind of set it to the side because it's super not necessary. And we'll think about it later. You might want to find somewhere else to cram it later on. The next step before you put your ham in the oven is just, you want to use our secret ingredient, which is my absolute favorite product. It's a secret ingredient. Crazy brand of what? <coughs> <coughs> The crazy brand of <coughs> what? And you want to make sure you apply this liberally. Just throughout the ham, just all over it. And before you put your holiday ham into the oven, you want to make sure that that salty ham is just covered completely with the <coughs> secret ingredient. Excuse me. You want to make sure you wash your hands after you cough when you're preparing a meal for family and friends. You want to just like, kind of, just like, Really beat that ham. Make sure it's nice and tender. Just really, really have at it. Then you want to place your ham into a high heated oven. And uh, while your ham is cooking, maybe find some other sides to make, like mashed potatoes, uh, like cross faced chicken wings. <coughs> I mean, chicken legs. Oh, maybe a nice surf and turf. I prefer uh, crab legs are a favorite. I like to get mine from Boston. And fun fact about Boston crab legs, you'll know when they're finished cooking, after you've applied pressure and they just kind of start to cry, maybe a little, they just kind of cry, just tears. And anyway, um, and then when those are done, you listen for your timer and your salty ham is done. You just take that big old butt right out of the oven and just toss it aside for later. Because you know what? We don't need that. Seriously, just make it go away. If you'd like to see me demonstrate live how to make a salted holiday ham, you can join UWC's Toys for Tots show this Saturday, December 10th at Kelly's Banquet Hall in Wrightstown, New Jersey. Admission is free if you bring a new unwrapped toy, and I'll show you how to really just kick the crap out of that holiday ham. Bye, everyone!